Merry Christmas! What the hell was wrong with me back then? Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and the holiday season has happened. Uh, there was Christmas, and Hanukkah, and other stuff like that. I don't know how many of you celebrate all the other holidays, but uh, hey, I celebrate Christmas. That's what I do. If you do otherwise, then you do you, boo. I'm not going to wear a Santa hat because I can't find it. It's probably up there somewhere, but I'm too lazy to dig for it because it's buried under a bunch of other hats that I don't wear. And for those who are subscribed, uh, some of you are probably wondering why didn't I make a pickup video last month? Because this is the only thing that I picked up. I want to do a video just only showing off Final Fantasy 15. It's a fun game. It's really cool. I didn't beat it because I'm terrible at Final Fantasy. I'm only a few hours in and I can't, I, I can't win. I'm, I'm bad at this game. So I need people to help me. And besides all that, before I get into my actual Christmas pickups, I do want to show off everything that I picked up this month because I buy things for myself because I like to spoil myself sometimes. But yeah, I'll tell you guys when I start doing my Christmas pickups. So first things first, here I broke my phone. I was working and I drop it on the floor and here this thing is falling on concrete before and everything. Like it, it did just fine, but it falls on this floor and uh, I pick it up, and the screen isn't cracked or anything, but I try to use touch screen, and the touch screen doesn't want to respond. I'm like, yeah, fuck. This is the perfect time. So I had to go to Walmart and buy another iPhone 5S. Well, technically, I bought it on eBay first, and then I found out Walmart has not brand new still, so, and it was about the same price. So I had to return the other phone from eBay. I sold my broken phone on eBay, and I got this phone, and, eh. I like it. It's another iPhone 5S. I got another screen protector, got a case on it, and I've already done a video talking about this whole situation before, so for those who are just watching me for the first time, that happened. I also got myself a Silver Mario. Uh, you'll understand why pretty soon. Here, I already have a Gold and Silver Mario in the box up there, which you probably can't even see, but yeah, I've got those on day one, and I was really, really happy, especially my Gold Mario, because that sold out in like five minutes. And these I actually got just yesterday. I got the SH Figure Arts Sasuke and Itachi. And these are sexy as fuck, no lie. Uh, I'm going to be doing reviews of these later this week. So look forward to that. I'm going to be doing Sasuke first and then I'll do Itachi. So again, look forward to that. And if you're new, again, subscribe so you can see that. If you want to see that, it doesn't really matter. But these figures are already out for a while because they were released through like special expos and cons and stuff. But I wasn't there and MH Toy Shop finally got them in stock and they finally shipped it to my house and it, They were doing priority two-day shipping But for some reason I guess the mail couldn't keep up for some dumb reason and it took them a little bit longer But MH Toy Shop is normally the place that I always recommend to go for uh, Figures and stuff except for like Nendoroids and Figmas and stuff. I normally recommend Ami Ami for that kind of stuff But still I like these these are really freaking cool and because it was Christmas, I couldn't spoil myself all too much. So now let's get into the Christmas pickups. First up, I got this chair. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a legit DX racer. It's not even like a certain brand or anything. I can't remember which brand it is. But it's like, no big brand or anything. Like on the back of the chair, it like says nothing. But it is really comfy as of now. Uh, I read in one of the reviews that the padding does eventually wear out like after like a month or so and it gets really uncomfortable So this is only gonna be a test of time So I'll let you guys know how comfortable this chair is later, but so far I freaking love this thing The thing can lean back and stuff it can recline it has a foot rest the thing I love this chair. It's really great My only complaint so far about the chair is that here when I first got it It was squeaking but spray some oil you're fine but the one thing that I did legit have a problem with was the base with the wheels and everything. Like, the welding job on that looked so bad. But everyone's going to be looking at the chair, not the base. And armrests, eh, they're alright. Like, they're foam, but you can't adjust them or anything, which not a lot of chairs can do that, but the racer seats can. But I normally don't have a problem with that. It's just the fact that I can't really push this chair into my desk all that well. So that kind of sucks, so I have to raise it to its highest and then push it in so I have some room to get behind my chair. But again, overall, I freaking love this chair. This thing is really comfy. But if you are a really wide person, you're not going to like this chair because the sides will, like, dig into you then, and it won't be a fun time. Luckily, I lost weight, so I can fit in this chair just fine. During the Christmas Eve party at my aunt's house here, my uncle got me Season 2 of The Flash and Season 1 of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. I seen a few episodes of this and it was all right. Like I watched like the first two episodes I think and then eventually watched the uh, episode with Arrow. Like when they go into the future and stuff. It was really cool. 
Well, season two, I technically already watched, like, from beginning to end. And here, last year, I got season one of The Flash, and I didn't watch it before, so I'm like, you know what? I'll check it out, and I really, really got into it. And then I got into the, fl uh, not The Flash, The Arrow, so I got into that. So I might try and catch up on DC Legends, and right now they're in season two, like, halfway done, so I can try and catch up, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I just gotta make more free time. You can probably see back there. It's probably a little bit blurry though, so that kind of sucks. But I got the Ocarina of the Time World and Nintendo Link. And here they made two different versions. They, well, technically three, but they made two other versions, I should say. They made a Red Tunic and the Dark Link. And the, the Red Tunic Link is the newest one, but I don't really care about that, honestly. But here the Dark Link was uh, exclusive to Spencer's. And here, my neighbor Norris hooked me up with him, and he looks really freaking awesome, especially when I have him behind my other Link, so it looks like he's like trying to creep up and stuff, and it looks really cool. Here, my ex Pam was supposed to get this for me, and she ordered it for me and everything, but here we broke up, and she never gave it to me then. I'm like, well, shit. Then I saw it in a store that wasn't Spencer's, actually. It was like some store that sold a bunch of like board games and stuff, and they had a few World of Nintendo figures, and this was one of them for some reason. Like, in that mall that it was in, it had Spencer's. So, the fact that it was there instead, like, I, I don't know. Still, I saw it, and I'm like, oh, man, my ex is supposed to get this for me. Ugh. But anyway, now I have it, and it looks really great. I would do a review on it, but it's technically just the same figure as the Ocarina of Time Link. So, I've done a review on that already. But, um, yeah, it's just pretty much a black paint job. It's all it is. Same exact figure. Do I recommend it? Um, if you're a... A fan of Dark Link, then yes, get this. I wish it wasn't $20, but hey, it's a cool figure nevertheless. Again, thank you, Norris, so much for hooking me up with this. My brother also hooked me up with a few of these little arcade cabinets. Uh, here, I didn't put batteries in it, so I don't know what's on this one. I think it's just, I don't know if it's just a bunch of generic games, but it has a legit LCD screen from what it looks like, so this thing might be really freaking cool. Then he also got me these LCD ones that were Space Invaders, right? Yeah, Space Invaders and Pac-Man. And here he got these for me so I can display them on my shelf. But I could not find a spot on my shelf to put them, so I put them next to my TV. Because that's, like, seriously the only open gap I can put these bad boys at. And these ones came with batteries, but I took the batteries out in case I needed them for anything else. But, um, yeah, the, like, the Pac-Man one looks really cool, no lie. Because I have a little mini arcade cabinet of Pac-Man that was, like, a little candy thing. So you probably know what I'm talking about. So the fact that I have this and that next to it, like, like, like that is really cool. Thank you, Zach, for these. Like, these look really cool. And you saw earlier that I got a Silver Mario Amiibo for myself. That's because I got myself a Gold Mario. Well, technically, I got this for Christmas. And here, they got restocked at GameStop and I believe Best Buy. I can't remember if it was Best Buy, but I know I saw these at GameStop. And I'm like, oh, snap. I need to get myself one of these. And I remember when they first came out, like, they were, like, impossible to find. And I managed to get one day one, and I was really happy with it. But what sucks is I had to keep them in the box. Well, technically, I didn't have to. But I, I just, like... Me, personally, I felt like I had to. So, I did. So, it always bothered me that I had the rest of the set open, but not going Silver Mario. As I was either going to buy the rest of the set in the box, or just buy another Gold and Silver Mario. And since the Gold Mario got restocked, and the Silver Mario doesn't sell for too much, at least loose on eBay, it's only like $13. I'm like, okay, let's just get another Gold and Silver Mario. So, yeah. So, now I got another Gold and Silver Mario. And here, if you guys know me personally, uh, you know that I am a huge, huge fan of Crash Bandicoot. And yes, I'm super excited for the Insane Trilogy, but uh, I hate the fact that I gotta wait. So if you know, he was released in Skylanders, and I wanted to get it, honestly. But I didn't want to spend $100 just to get a couple of figures and play a level. It's not worth it to me, no. So eventually, they released them by themselves. These are the first Skylanders that I ever got. And no lie, I do like these, don't get me wrong, but I hate the fact that they feel really hollow compared to Amiibos. And these things are more expensive than Amiibos. But now that I have Crash, I gotta get Spyro. Which I ordered on eBay and he should be coming later today. Probably gonna throw that in the next pickups. Okay, this one's freaking hilarious. Here, my other brother Mike, he knows that I collect figures and shit. And, you know, that I review them as well. He knows my whole YouTube thing. Here, last year, uh, him and his girlfriend were so supportive of my YouTube. They got me a YouTube shirt. Uh, they got me that pillow back there and a sticker. And I remember I was watching uh, the 2015 pickups the other day. And I'm like, holy hell, I got a lot of shit first up. Two, <laughs> I got a YouTube sticker. And I'm like, oh shit. I said I was going to put this on my car. 
and I remembered where I put my sticker because now I have a car. So I put it on my car. But anyway, this year, here, they got some guy that 3D prints shit, I guess. And here he made a figure of me. Here, the figure originally had glasses. But here, the figure fell and the glasses broke. But it was the frames that broke, so the arms and the nose piece are still on. So we're really salty about that. So that really sucks. And here, the box for it's hilarious, too. Like here, it, like, it shows me right there. Yeah, boy. See, I probably should have kept it in the box since the glasses were fragile. We got a nice warning right in the front saying how the glasses are fragile. Be careful. But I wanted him to be on my shelf with the rest of my figures. Here, a few years ago, my brother got me this little ornament. And here, I have this guitar in real life. It's actually right over there. So I was posing him with them, and I'm like, yes, this is freaking perfect. I'll pull up a picture right here, like it shows me holding the figure and everything with my guitar. So yeah, you can see like how hilarious it looks. I just wish it didn't have glasses because lately I've been stunning no glasses. And plus the fact that they're fragile kind of sucks. But again, thank you Mike and Pam for this. Like this is really cool. I also got this nice pea coat here. I was shopping with my cousin and we saw this and we're like, oh man, this is so cool. So here I got this and my chair uh mainly for christmas like, these are like my most expensive gifts and it really sucks because like because of these things i couldn't get a lot of other things for my mom but it's whatever it's all good and she also got me this scarf to look even fancier with it because i gotta have a nice scarf and every year i always get like chapstick a shower kit either socks or underwear and stuff so I'm, i decided to just skip all that for this video and that's pretty much everything I got for Christmas. I didn't get too much, but the things I got, I love a lot. There's not really a lot that I need for Christmas because I always buy myself stuff throughout the year anyway. So a lot of things that I want, I already have. But I really wanted those crash figures because we haven't had crash figures since I was in like elementary school. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in next year, I guess, <laughs> for my next Christmas pickups. But I try to do monthly pickups throughout the year. This is, I'm mainly just telling the people that are not subscribed to me. If they're watching, hi. But yeah, like this is everything. Well, I'm happy. Uh, I'm gonna be reviewing the Naruto figures later this week. I would say let me know in the comments what you got, but what I would rather have you do is make a Christmas pickups video and let me know that you made it in the comments so I will check out your channel and check out the video. Because I need something to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're new, you know what to do. Also, in the description, there is my P.O. box if you want to send in stuff, but most importantly, we got my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat if you want to add me on those. If you hit up my Snapchat, then you can hit me up personally, so it's almost like having my number, so you can hit me up whenever you want, but I don't want to give away my number, so hit me up on Snapchat, and we can talk. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you subscribe, then I, I love you even more. Again, thank you for watching. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. So I might as well say my goodbyes. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one.